I'm excited to welcome you to Season 3 of Cohort W. I will be your host for this season. My name is CW3 Susie Elbert. I am the 2023 Warrant Officer Historical Foundation Fellow, and I'm currently working as an instructor in the Department of Strategy and Doctrine here at the Warrant Officer Career College on Fort Novacell. I've supported the Warrant Officer Candidate School Program since 2021. I started as an attack officer for the Regional Training Institute in Edgewood, Maryland, supporting Components 2 and 3, and I moved over to First Walk to support the Resident Walks Program before I transitioned over here to academics. In the last couple of years, I had the expectation originally that I would be contributing to the cohort by raising up the next generation of prospective warrant officers, and I have been lucky enough to not only have the opportunity to train, advise, and counsel, but also learn with and learn from prospective warrant officers who truly are the newest generation of leaders. I have been changed by this experience. I think nothing changes you more than being asked every single day about leadership and being watched in every single moment of those days to see if your actions are truly aligned with what you are teaching. I'm grateful to have been privy, almost marinating in an environment of constant vulnerability, uh, sometimes fear, definitely enthusiasm and hunger to contribute and to change, uh, the frustrations of candidates and the growth associated with warrant officers that are acutely aware that they are in the middle of a very intentional process of change, both personally and professionally. A perspective I commonly ask them to share with me is how a quote relates to their leadership philosophy as a warrant during this time of change. And that quote is, a man never steps in the same river twice because the river has changed and so has the man. And that will be the theme for this season, change. I will attempt to take a close look at untangling the processes of becoming a warrant, starting with recruitment and appointment and continuing past retirement. I will interview warrant officers at all points in the warrant officer career lifespan, discussing critical transition points, demystifying associated processes, and really trying to figure out perspectives on the warrant officer identity. We'll also hear from our sister service warrant officers and others to create the strongest possible cohort as we head into the perpetual change of multi-domain operations and large-scale combat operations. I'm certain that this season will support the mission of the Warrant Officer Historical Foundation to preserve the rich history of the warrant officer and to educate. I'm incredibly grateful to the members and the donors of the foundation for their continued support and for this opportunity, and I am hopeful to maintain the momentum created by the season one host, CW5 Russell Hauser, and continued by the season two host, CW5 Leonard Mominy. Lastly, I am truly honored to be able to pay homage to the late Dr. John Robinson, CW5 retired with this season. For more information on websites and social media sites that support this podcast, please see the information attached to this trailer. And to access more ideas about and by current warrant officers, please check out the Strength and Knowledge Journal found at Army University Press. I look forward to joining you all again soon for Episode 1 of Season 3 of Cohort W.